Welcome to Learning New Weirdo Pens with Mindy. Oh, there's a little hanger thing. That's cute. Yoga mats and got nothing on me. How do you target your booty? I don't feel it's in there. No, I held it through that. I'm not doing it anymore. Good morning. It's starting over day. Oh God. Good morning. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good morning, everybody. We're on day one <laughs> again. <laughs> Still processing through my emotions and everything because all of this happened so fast. I mean, I've been hearing about his appetite for months, but originally they didn't think FDA approval was gonna come through until later this year. And I thought, I'll look into it then. We'll see if it's worth switching. And then in a support group, someone mentioned, you know, why don't you just switch to Manjaro? And I was like, I didn't know it was out yet. <laughs> and that was eight days ago, nine days ago, something like that. And then here we are. <laughs> so I'm very excited. I'm a little bit nervous. I'm also wondering if we shouldn't have started me at a higher dosage, but there's a big part of me that's wondering if the semaglutide compound was even working at all. So I'm okay with starting at the beginning dosage again, because I know that way I'll have less likelihood of side effects. And I was lucky enough not to experience any on Wigovi. So I'm hoping that that'll be the case with Manjaro as well, since there's fewer incidences of side effect on Manjaro, but I'm excited, even though I'm a little nervous and just see how this goes. Here is the true reality of meal prep aftermath. Ugh. Welcome to Learning New Weirdo Pens with Mindy. So this is what the Manjaro pens look like. Little anatomy of the pen. This is the Grace Bay Cap, clear base, purple injection button, the lock ring. These are the lock mechanisms. And the medicine is right in here. And you'll see, yeah, there's a little bubble. And that's normal for that bubble to be there. This bottom end is where the needle is. So this is very different from how Wegovy works. Basically you take this gray cap off and the needle is exposed. So you don't wanna to touch the needle. You don't wanna do anything around that end once that base cap is off and you don't wanna take this off until you're ready to give it because if you put this back on, it can damage the needle. Then you're gonna put it against your skin. You're gonna unlock it while it's touching your skin and then you're gonna push the injection. Just like the Wegovy, you're gonna hear two clicks. The first click, is the injection starting the second click is the injection completing there will be a gray plunger that shows up that will let you know again it's about 10 seconds from the end of the first click and it should be done so just like we go you can inject this in the front of your thighs in your stomach you can do it in your arms but they say the back of your arm so if you want to do the back of your arm they say that you need to have somebody else do that injection because it's awfully hard to see what you're doing and to push this plunger if you're back here. So I'm gonna be changing my injection site to the front of my thighs just because I don't have anybody here to give me this injection and I'm not doing it on my stomach. So here goes nothing. Alcohol swab. Make sure you let that alcohol dry completely or else it's gonna sting a lot more. Put this against my thigh. We're gonna 
unlock and push. And the little needle retracts when it's done. So that's even less of a question of when it's done. And not really any blood. It was relatively painless. Uh, it stung a little bit, but I mean, I was used to that with the Bigo V. Sometimes it would sting, sometimes it wouldn't. So I'll put that back on and then you dispose of this in a sharps container. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. I will keep you updated. Hey buddy, you wanna go for a walk? No, you don't wanna go? <laughs>really attracted us to the apartment complex that we've been living in for the last year or so was that we had an attached yard for Helios and also it just meant more room for entertaining and things like that which I love to do but one of the really cool parts of having a yard meant that we're actually able to have a barbecue grill so because one of the reasons you can't have them in apartment complexes is because you can't have them on a balcony they can't be within a certain distance from building because it's a fire hazard and so on and so forth. Anyway, so because we have a yard, we're able to get the grill far enough away from the building to stay within fire code so we can have the grill. It's a very long explanation to say that after over a year of living in the complex, I'm finally going to pick up the grill. We're just getting a really small little dinky, cheapy Walmart grill, a charcoal grill, because this week I'm going to be making some Korean short rib bibimbap bowls and if you've ever had Korean short ribs, they're amazing. You do not eat them cooked in a pan. You just can't. It's not, no. <laughs> so I'm, I'm on my way to Walmart to pick up a charcoal grill and a charcoal. I'm gonna do a curbside order, so I brought Helios with me. And then I need to run to Sam's Club to pick up a few things that we get from Sam's. Richard's out of one of the supplements and we're almost completely out of ibuprofen, which my husband works on. So anyway, I just figured I'd take you guys along with me and Stuff out. Hi. Hi.
nice and squishy. Happy Tuesday. So I'm gonna be doing another home workout. Hopefully this one doesn't kick my butt quite as bad as the one the last week did. I have the floor mat now, so in theory, it should help with impact and things like that. But I had certain muscles in my body that were screaming all the way up until yesterday. So <laughs> we'll see how that goes. I don't really have a lot going on today. I have a video that I need to edit so that I can get it up before tomorrow. So that's probably gonna be most of my day if we're gonna be real. And Richard probably has a shorter day at work today. So that means that I have less time to get things done because I get distracted when he's home. <laughs> okay, the workout for today is the lazy girl workout. No jumping, no excuses, full body by Vicky Justice. We don't care about your cocktail. Oh no, buddy. I don't need your help. I'm okay. Really, I am. No, leave my water alone. 30 more seconds. I don't know if I would call this lazy. Help. How do you target your booty? I don't feel it's in there. Let's go. We got this. Help. Help. Okay. Okay. No. I can't. No. I'm making a very bold assumption that I have abs to squeeze later. Let's go. Keep going. You're not the boss of me. Oh, hell no. No, I held it through that. I'm not doing it anymore. You know, I think these uh, creators don't understand the concept of beginner. This I can do. Good morning. That was fully manufactured. So it's Wednesday and y'all the fatigue is real. If you've been with me since the beginning, you know that on the first day that I did my big OV injection, I got extremely tired that day. Like I had to take a nap, which I never do. I'm not a napping person. And I did start feeling a little tired towards the end of the day after I took the shot. And then yesterday I had some fatigue. And today, like by, by last night, I was ready to go to bed around nine o'clock. I was still editing, so I didn't go to bed right at nine, but I was in bed before 10 o'clock. I didn't sleep super great last night. I woke up around four, I had to use the restroom, and then my brain was going a million miles an hour about the edit that I still needed to finish that's going up today. <laughs> and I, I just couldn't get my brain to shut up. I finally fell back asleep at some point because when my alarm went off, I was like, <laughs> I turned it off and felt like I just laid there for a second, opened my eyes up, and it had been almost half an hour. So I'm... I'm gonna keep pushing through, I'm gonna be fine. I'm just letting y'all know the fatigue, it's real. <laughs> hey y'all, so it's Wednesday night and we're getting our walk in. <laughs> there are many reasons that I usually do my exercise in the morning, not the least of which is the fact that I live in Texas and at 8.15, it is still 97 degrees outside. Now on the plus side, <laughs> the feeling cold thing that I used to experience on Wegovi, that has returned with a vengeance. So this is the first time, first of only a few times today, that I haven't been absolutely freezing in spite of the fact that I keep the air at a balmy 78 degrees inside my apartment. So that's a thing. <laughs> But as somebody who is usually hot as all get out all the time, I kind of welcome that side effect a little bit. <laughs> so we're just going to finish getting our walk in and enjoy the scenery. I hope you do too. Good morning. 
morning. So, my tea wasn't quite as bad this morning. I didn't have to like literally drag my bed, my bed out of body, my body out of bed. <laughs> I was still tired when I woke up, but it wasn't nearly as bad. I'm having this thing where I wake up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom and then I lay back down and even though I'm exhausted, my brain is going a million miles an hour so I can't get back to sleep properly. And that's annoying, but I can't really blame that on the Manjaro because that's a problem that I've had on and off pretty much my whole life. So that's been a thing the last couple of nights. I think I mentioned earlier that, or yesterday, that the cold is real. Like that's a thing. And definitely felt it last night. Like my husband has been sweating at night and I turned the thermostat down to 73 and I'm like bundled covers all the way up to here and I'm still feeling the chill a little bit. So. Uh, it's, it's so interesting the way that works because I am a hot person like through and through have been my whole life so that is a very very strange sensation yeah I think that's pretty much it as far as side effects go I'm not full-blown constipated but yesterday I noticed that I was having a harder time going than I have been and if you've been around my channel for a while you know that I um I take Oh my gosh, I take magnesium glycanate. I do four of them every night, a couple hours before bed, and I usually go in the morning like clockwork. And I, I mean, I still went yesterday several times, but I had to work a lot harder at it, and I can feel that there's still more. So I haven't had that experience in a long time. Like, definitely not since being on Migovi, and I don't think I've felt it since I've started taking the magnesium, even when I was on Migobi. So we'll see if that kind of regu regu regulates itself. And I really hope it does, because I don't want to have to take Miralax again. That stuff is awful. But anyway, so far so good. I'm feeling really good. I put on these leggings this morning, and they are feeling a lot looser through the thighs than the last time I wore them, which was just last week. So that was interesting. I decided that even though I'm not like on my four week update because this is my first week taking Majora, really I should have done it last week if I had been thinking, but I'm going to take measurements tomorrow so that I can kind of get a beginning measurement on Majora. Again, should have done it last week, but I just wasn't thinking. So I am excited for my weigh in tomorrow. There have been several times where I've looked in the mirror this week or I've put on a piece of clothing that has felt looser. I don't know if that's psychological or not, but I mean, it's kind of hard to say that clothes fitting bigger is psychological, but yeah, you know, who knows? So we'll see what the scale says tomorrow. <laughs> anyway, I'm letting Helios do his business and wander around the yard this morning a little bit, and then we're going to go in and tackle another strength workout. We're going to try some calisthenics this morning and see how that does. I changed my mind. That was more like an instructional video. I'm gonna do the strength workout. What? 40 meters. Knee squats, Jenny J. Oh, I wasn't supposed to be doing them the whole time. Rude. I just wanted to do a quick check-in after that workout. It was not very knee-friendly. It really wiped me out, and I don't know why this one so much more so than the other ones that I've been doing, but like I'm feeling really weak and shaky. I decided to take a shower because I was hoping maybe that would help. Um, I took kind of a cold, cool shower, and I'm feeling a little bit better, especially after eating breakfast, but I'm still feeling kind of shaky and weird. So I'm going to keep an eye on it. But I'm sure I'll be fine. I'm sure it's just muscle fatigue or, you know, maybe the other workouts from last week and this week are finally catching up and maybe it was just a lot. I'm only doing the strength stuff twice a week and then I'm doing the just the walking the Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So I'm sure I'll be fine. I just wanted to check in and let y'all know just in case that happens to be a symptom of the Manjaro more than just exercising. So, sorry, the neighbor's dog is outside and Helios is throwing a fit. 
anyway, I'm sure I'll touch base with you again. I don't really need new friends, so spend your time with me. Good morning. It's Friday. So I have a bunch of things to do today. I'm gonna actually do my grocery shopping for next week today because tonight we're doing a game night with a bunch of friends. So I'm gonna make a dessert and a side dish and I need to buy the groceries for that. So I figured I might as well get the stuff for next week too. And then um, I'm gonna stop by the ReStore to see if I can find a bookshelf and or a dining room table because I'm not interested in paying new furniture prices. <laughs> So I'll take you guys with me as much as I feel comfortable <laughs> and hopefully we'll find something that works for my space and that fits in my car. We'll see. <laughs> I did my way in this morning and I'm excited. Table. Ooh, a bunch of water damage to it though. Oh man. Too bad we don't have our house yet. This tub is huge. It's only 20, 200 bucks. That's cute. This cute little table with the fold down side. Alright, so I took that little table I showed you guys that had the fold up arms out so that I could look at it. I wasn't 100% sure that it was solid wood. It kind of looked like it, but it also kind of looked like it could be a veneer. But the legs were pretty banked up, and the mechanism that put the arms up and down was really freaky. Like, I mean, I'm sure I could have oiled them and stuff like that. It was an amazing price. It was only $25 and everything in the store was 30% off. But I also would have had to try to find chairs, and chairs are crazy expensive. Like. That's kind of why I was hoping to find a set. And there were, I think, two sets in there, but both of them were just way too big. So, and unfortunately, all of the bookcases that they had had backs on them, and they were all way too bulky and ornate for me. So, I'll just keep on looking. It's the thing with thrift shopping, like, you're gonna have to go through a lot of stuff before you find the right thing. Y'all, I just have to show you something because. I just sat down and looked down. I'm out here letting Helios go potty, and I swear to you, these are not my legs. Dude, these are not my thighs. What is that? I know it's weird for y'all to be sitting here staring at my crotch, but what? That's weird. Sit. sit. I'm not filming your face. Calm your tits. I just want to show you guys something that says it's 78 in my house. I'm wearing a hoodie. A hoodie. I am also wearing slippers and pants. I'm still cold. So I'm sitting here watching the Hannah Bales reaction to Pitch Perfect and I'm literally crying because the music is so good. Does anybody else do that? Or is that just me? I think I have issues. Do you see? It's actual Yay. tears. Actual tears. Do you see? What is wrong with me? What is wrong with me? Side effects, 
The fatigue definitely improved as the week went on. I am still feeling tired earlier in the evening than I was before I took the shot, but I, I will take that. I'm totally fine with it. It just means that I go to bed a little bit earlier at night and I'm okay with it. I still haven't been sleeping the greatest the last couple of nights. I'll wake up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom and then my brain is going five million miles an hour again. I can't necessarily blame Manjaro for that. It just hasn't been an issue for a while. So who knows if that's something you guys have experienced, definitely let me know. So I will say that my muscles are sore. Like I really don't feel like I worked out that hard, but my muscles are super sore. I did see someone saying in a support group that they noticed that their soreness is much more intense than it was before they took the Manjaro. So maybe that's a thing, I don't know. I will say that the soreness is real. I am also going to need to find some more knee-friendly strength workouts. If you guys know of any good ones, please make sure to leave them down in the comments for me because like laying in bed last night, my knee, my right knee especially, was screaming at me. So with my arthritis in my knees and my hips, I really need to be careful with what I'm doing to make sure that I'm not causing excess stress on those already inflamed joints. So I will say that, and I don't know if this was psychosomatic or not, but throughout the week, things felt right again. I felt in control again. I felt like I wasn't thinking about food all the time again. There were still a few random thoughts here and there, but I don't know if it was just the Manjaro, if it was a combination of the Manjaro and the food that I was eating this week, the fact that I had that cottage cheese thing that really helped in the evenings so that I was eating that instead of ice cream and maybe having that much less sugar in my diet just helped to kind of regulate things in conjunction with the Manjaro. I don't know, all speculation at this point, but I know that I just felt right. I feel like I'm back on track again and it's crazy that all it took was one dose for it to just snap back to feeling like I was in the right place. And regardless of whether it was psychosomatic or not, when I get to my results, I mean, I was obviously right. The things felt right because it was right. Anyway, the other thing I noticed when I put these jeans on, these are the ones that I bought from Old Navy a couple months ago. And I, they're definitely getting like loose through the back here. It was much easier to do the button fly than it was when I first bought them. I mean, I'm definitely not too small for them. Like they're still fitting properly, but I'm fitting more comfortably into 22s. I mean, honestly, I've been stuck in the 290s for, I want to say like 12 weeks or something like that. So it's just been since I've been on the compound, pretty much, I've been stuck in that 10 pound thing. And it's been like almost three months, I want to say. So anyway, on to the results. I was hopeful that when I started this, that it would kickstart my weight loss again. And thank you, Jesus. I was not wrong because when I stepped on the scale this week, I lost 2.1 pounds, which took me down to 289 and change. And my total weight loss is now at 75.8 pounds. It's taken me this long to get down below my pre-California trip weight. And I know I had COVID in there, there was the trip to California, but with all the activity I had when I was in California, I expected to see losses that week. Granted, I did not weigh myself that week because I had COVID, but Everything since then I've been on track and I've still been gaining. So I know our bodies do strange things, but it wasn't in conjunction with my cycle. There wasn't anything that I could really pinpoint other than the fact that I was on the compound instead of being now on the Manjaro. So I'm very excited to see what's to come as I increase doses. I've been thinking about talking to my doctor about skipping the next dose because I did start all the way down at the lowest titration, but at the same time, if it continues to work for me, I don't really see the point in doing that. So we'll just kind of play it by ear and see how it goes. For now, I feel great. I am so happy I made the switch. If you're thinking about doing this, there are two support groups that I'm part of already on Facebook, and I'm sure they're gonna be more popping up all the time. But definitely feel free to go in there, see what people are saying. But by and large, everyone is having really good experiences so far on this drug. So we will see how it goes. I'm super excited to be back on track again. If you're not subscribed, please consider joining my YouTube family. And thank you once again for all of your support and for watching these videos. Let me know down in the comments how you feel about this new format, if you like it, if you don't like it, what you would like to see, what you hate. Uh, <laughs> trust me, I can take it, I got a thick skin. Anyway, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Choose right from wrong, we found the strength to go.